Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I said in a previous video that is still loading right now about that we need to get rid of these bubbles and make them black and white. Well, that's either easier said than done. They're a green and they're a CYMK color, and in engraving that didn't work. So instead of going through there and changing all these to black, we're going to use find and replace. Find and replace. You could replace objects, but we're not going to. We're just going to find them. I like having control. We're going to find fills. We're going to find uniform fills. Next, specify color. Go down here and find the eyedropper and go over here and find that color. Then hit next. Next. Finish. Find all. And then go right up here and left click your mouse to black. So now you have RGB black on those bubbles. You've still got some fields. And if we click on right here, it says fountain. It's a fountain field. Go up to edit, find and replace, find objects, begin new search, fields, fountain fields, next any fountain fields, finish, find all, go right up here and left click, no field. Now he's still got a problem with these bubbles and it's going to take some work, but he, we can do the same thing we did with the watermelon a while ago, but see we've changed everything already black. So the gray is very easily done. Because it's, um, it was all one piece. Now these texts, I've showed that in the other video, but we can, you can very easily select that text and see it's a CMYK. You don't want that anyway, and we're going to make it black by, I'm left clicking the mouse. You can't have that white inside there when you're engraving. So, Revert back to the old video, the first one. Let's set this. Let's see how big this is. Still about three inch nudge. I do the same thing we did before. I'd click on the outline. Now you could do two things. I think just taking this number here and making it black. You could take this this one and left cl or right click outline and you could use that too but you've got some interference in the center so it'd be a lot easier just to take these outlines away and put your you know and, 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 and I'm not trying to tell you how to design your logo you could still put a outline around it that's gray make it a little thicker you know let's make it eight points and scale with object well, eight points is a little bit too much. Let's go 0.5. Let's go. Let's go one. Uh, one and a half. Too much. Should have gone with one. And let's put it behind the field this time. And then you could go a little bit thicker. Let's go two. That looks pretty good. That's the way I would do it. And if you watch the first video that you're going to engrave this separately, I would also engrave these separately, the outlines. And that's very easily breaking broken apart. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.